I'm Barry Trammell, and Bob Stoops, Landry Jones, and Ryan Broyles will spend Thursday night in Bristol, Connecticut. Can anyone say, sleeping with the enemy? <laughs> hey, it's the car wash of ESPN appearances, and they're going to be there, and we're going to talk about it here on the Press Row from the Opopco Studios. I'm Jenny Carlson. Sleeping with the enemy, Barry, huh? I, I like the car wash, but explain sleeping with well, the enemy. Well, I mean, I mean uh, ESPN is the evil empire. They've gone all burnt orange on us with the Longhorn Network. Uh, I actually saw Bob Stoops uh, earlier today, and he was talking about his trip, and he said it's, it's pretty cool. He said it's like having your own network for one day. Uh, <laughs> so uh, a pointed reference to uh, his good friends at the University of Texas. But no, it's going to be a fun day for Broyles and Landry Jones, and, and even Bob said he enjoys it, to, uh, to make the rounds at, uh, at ESPN. And here's the deal. ESPN, as we know, runs the world. Uh, you know, I think we can blame them for the, blame them for the debt crisis in Washington right now. <laughs> but what, what's going on is that the Sooners have to play ball with ESPN. Even though ESPN's in bed with the Longhorns, you've got to play ball with them because they control so much of the national media and the national perception. You can't say no to the Longhorns. The Longhorns. You can't say no to ESPN. They're so interchangeable, I don't know why I had to correct myself. But you can't say no to ESPN when they want you to come and promote yourself. You got to go do it. I noticed they did not invite Travis Lewis, who at Media Days this week said he's, he's all in favor of TLN, the Travis Lewis Network. He's obviously having some fun with all this talk about the Longhorn Network. But Barry's right. You know, it's obviously it's frustrating to all these schools what's going on with the Longhorn Network. It's really created uh, another summer soap opera for the Big 12. Barry wrote about that on his blog, and it's true. But ESPN is such a, a, a big microphone, a big uh, trumpeter for college football. If they call and say, we want you to come to Bristol, you have to do it, don't you? Yeah, you do, especially when you're talking about two guys with such, uh, with such opportunity for awards. Uh, Ryan Broyles, uh, obviously a Bolitnikov, a Bolitnikov Award uh, uh, challenger, and uh, Ryan D Landry Jones mentioned for the Heisman. you got to get your name out there. you got to get out in front. And if the Sooners do well, the, both those guys are in great position for All-American honors and the trophies that go with them. So uh, you have to do it. Uh, these guys will, will enjoy it. Uh, I asked if they could film some commercials. I think it'd be fun to see Landry Jones do one of the commercials because everybody's so deadpan in all those ESPN commercials. Landry Jones walks through life deadpan. So uh, he'd be a natural. But apparently no commercials promoting ESPN. I think uh, the Sooners are sort of... Uh, uh, willing to, to let uh, ESPN promote Oklahoma. I don't know that the Oklahoma is going to promote ESPN. Well, yeah, I mean, it's definitely worth the while for Oklahoma, for their, for their two marquee players and their coach to head to Bristol to do this. You know, anymore, you talk about the Heisman Trophy, and, uh, you know, it's, it's really become a, a, an award that's as much about exposure and your team winning as it is the best player in the country. I'm a voter, and I, I'm here to admit that myself. You know, you see some of the votes that are out there, and you wonder, is this just about, you know, the guy that you, you were able able to see most or the guy that you actually do think is best. I still try to vote with who I think is the best player in the country and put those three names on my ballot. But, you know, any more getting your personality out there, getting your face out there, and then having the stats, that's really important. And these two guys, I, I think you have to say, are in the early running going to be difficult for a wide receiver to win the Heisman, uh, whether you're talking about Ryan Broyles or Justin Blackman. But a guy like Landry Jones, he has to get out there and then he has to go produce on the field. I stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.